Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how we will uh, start a Gradle project in uh, Gradle Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. So in my previous video we use Maven for creating a Spring Boot project. So in this video we are going with another approach using Gradle. So it's like a very similar one but only few difference. So I'm going to create a new project here and in project itself choosing spring initializer then going for the next window. So I am here Gradle test or something. Okay, so here here is the thing we need to change that into Gradle project. Then next we can select whatever we need. So I am going only for Spring Web, then Gradle test or automatically pop up. Then I can just finish. So it will ask for new window or whatever. So I install that. So right now I have everything for Gradle project. And uh, I have that example file also but still I have some issues here so it's not automatically importing the things so what I need is probably Maven or Maven build module Gradle test will make any sense I'm not sure about that. So here everything is fine, I guess. So it's not having this one uploading automatically. So I am just closing this one. I'm trying to file open recent Gradle test new window. So here I got that uh, notification. So Gradle notification to Gradle import. So we need to change something here. We are going here Maven import. We have that selected. So in this one, we need to select this one. Else it will not automatically pop. So I'm, I just select the non Maven non manage form dot XML Gradle notification group Gradle we have only two things then OK import Gradle project so I know everything set up so they are asking to no sorry they are asking to set up my JDK here so I am setting that also. So right now we are done everything. We can just uh, run our project from here itself. So the remaining part is same, but uh, we need to set up a server port or something that we can do. Probably I need to do that because in my case I am running so many things. So eight three three eight. Okay, so. I'm just saving and uh, I'm going uh, with uh, my main class so I can run here so this is a spring boot application so starter Gradle test application 0.87 so this part is done right now so we will go through what are the files and what are the settings what is in build.gradle so like maven we have pom.xml but in gradle it's build.xml that's a, that's another there are some additional features in my intellij idea is asking to install so I am going with that but uh, so in 
comparing with Maven. So Maven we have form.xml uh, but in Gradle, build.gradle so dependencies the name is same so we have uh, Spring Boot Starter so another one Spring Boot Starter uh, dot test that's a dependency this one implementation Starter Web and to use JUnit platform that also mentioned and group and version mentioning here source compatibility 1.8 plugins plugins it's just like the parent things so we need to compare this with uh, one of the maven form.xml so both are for the same project so if we are going here so swing boot starter dot parent that's not mentioned here all spring framework dot boot that's the one and the artifact id i am not mentioning that one here i am just mentioning 222 release then dependency management where is my dependency management plugin so there is no dependency management plugin here so that's also a missing thing then java version 1.8 that we are adding here also and uh, that's uh, we are adding by source compatibility and uh, here we have group that we mentioned here not here here then another thing we have dependencies dependencies spring boot starter dependency so basically we don't need to mention that we just mentioned starter web so there is a huge uh, space saving between form and cradle then another one starter test where we mention so it's also in uh, dependency and uh, there is an exclusion so that also uh, test Im implementation implementation uh, starter web test implementation starter test and uh, we are excluding some modules we are mentioning that group id group id is uh, uh, what dot unit vintage and module module is actually the artifact id so this way we uh, if we are comparing both we can learn so many things so there is a huge difference between gradle and maven but uh, new projects for always prefer Gradle instead of Maven thank you for watching but before I am going I need to go to the Gradle wrapper so Gradle wrapper make Gradle wrapper help us to maintain our version between the developers who are in the team or something they need to run uh, they actually download the particular version of gradle and run based on that so it's a very easy one so basically we have two one uh, two uh, yeah files one is for linux environment one is for windows environment both doing same things so that's all about Gradle. Probably in couple of next couple of video, we will go with uh, some Gradle commands. That's more important. Thank you. For